Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I really feel like we need to change. We sit down on the couch to sit down on the bench, but I know the second we change it to sit down on the bench, we're going to change locations. Right. No, <laughs> this is the only way that we can keep it the same is to not change our error in speech. <laughs> We got a new product in the mail. It was funny that somebody had messaged us, hey, could you guys review this? And the day before the company actually reached out to us, How even cool though we that? have already tried them a long time ago, and then they were also in our keto crate or keto box, one of the two, keto box last Huevos. month. Huevos. Huevos. So these are egg chips, right? And uh, we have three flavors here. We have sour cream and onion. We have huevos, huevos rancheros. rancheros. And we have dill, dill pickle. pickle. Which okay. one are we trying? We're well, not going to try all three. Well, here's the we, thing. We tried dill pickle in last month's keto box. I I want to try this one. Okay. Because I love the name. I feel like this is a missed opportunity, right? Because huevos is Spanish for egg. Right. Right. And so this is like huevos rancheros. Sounds like really cool. Like there's something really cool. And then it's like sour cream and onion, dill pickle. <laughs> like I feel like we should name them something fun and exciting each one, I'm right? I'm glad I put my glasses on for this one. Like it said, it should be like pickle fuerte. So I have learned the new way when you're gonna eat the whole bag. <laughs> Which we are. To open up Don't a bag like this. Teeth. Ready? Instead of ripping across the top, and then as soon as you put your hand in, like, you know, it rips down the middle. Yeah. You rip it on the side and you just come across like this. Oh. And now, you look at this. created a, a pouch. You've created a pouch and you don't have to worry about it ripping anymore. Put two strings on the end and now you have a huevos purse. Okay, so this is what they look like. Now the first time it's we not... tried these, they Ooh. they were all broken. Yeah, these are so not broken. They, these, they, it seems like they've made them a little bit thicker from the first time, because the first time we tried them, they were like almost like paper thin. Yeah. I, I feel like they've improved it a little bit. Yeah, these will hold up to some dip if you want to dip them. Yeah, you're right. The first time we had them, we were very disappointed because they were like they were super it was like crumbs. thin. You're right. This is more like a cracker. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Yeah. Wow. Yes. That's good. Mm-hmm. There's still a little bit of chalkiness to it. Yeah, I right? don't know if the chalkiness is the egg or if it's the seasoning. I feel like it's the seasoning. But this is definitely going to stand up to a dip. Like I can or see- Or putting it on salad. Oh yeah. But I can totally see just like sour cream. Yes. They're pretty good. I'm all about it. Five things? Five things? Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients, does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. We're gonna go, I'm assuming the difference is gonna be the seasonings, but we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna go to the one that we actually opened up. Ooh, it's tiny. Egg whites, ghee, milk protein isolate, inulin, which is chicory root fiber, coconut oil, seasoning blend, which is modified tapioca starch, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, spices, paprika, yeast extract, natural flavor, sugar, uh, aged red cayenne peppers, distilled vinegar, tomato powder, green bell pepper powder, natural ex um, extractives of paprika, lime juice, lactic acid, citric acid, avocado oil. Wow. Which one you got there? I've got the dill pickle. And I got the other one here. The sour cream and onion. So, uh, similar, similar ingredients. The difference becomes obviously with the seasoning blend. 
Sour cream and onion seasoning blend is salt, sugar, modified tapioca, starch, onion powder, natural flavors, spices, citric acid, yeast, extract, and garlic powder. The dill pickle is a little bit more suspect. It's got maltodextrin, mm -hmm. salt, white distilled vinegar, garlic powder, onion powder, sugar, baker's yeast extract, spices, citric acid, lactic acid, natural flavor. So a little bit, you know, every flavoring blend, you've got to check that on, on anything. Yep. On, on Even when you're eating pork rinds, yep. a different flavor of pork rind can make all the difference in the world. Yep. So probably so I would stick to I would say this one. Well, all of them, I mean, modified cream. tapioca starches, I mean, they're all gonna kind of be the same. Here's the thing. Overall, ingredients are good. It's the seasoning blend that makes it a little bit dirty. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> If you want to use that, I mean, it's because there's sugar in the seasoning blend. There's modified tapioca starch or maltodextrin in there. And that's, like Rachel said, the case with a lot of the seasonings. Yeah. And unfortunately, a lot of times they don't even have to tell you about it. So right. at least they are telling us about Breaking it. Breaking it down. Number two, does a keto base on the nutrition label? My turn. Why don't you go with that one? So uh, one bag is a serving, yes. So you get about 35 chips. 140 calories per serving, 10 grams of fat, eight grams of protein, eight total carbs, four dietary fiber. So yeah, so you're looking at what? Four net carbs. Four net carbs. Is that about the same for all of them? Uh, yeah, this one is the same, so that one's the same. Yep. Okay, four so when you get here, here's my thing. You have egg whites, ghee, clarified butter, milk protein isolate, inulin. Uh, which is chicken root fiber, so that that will add a little bit of carb. It seems like there's a lot of carbs for which is mostly going to be the seasoning. Yeah. So it is a little bit higher on the carb thing. I don't know if I would do these every day. Maybe once in a while, throw it on top of a salad or something like that. It's a lot of total carbs for one bag, knowing that most of them is probably coming from the seasoning because there's not gonna be any carbs in egg whites, there's no carbs in ghee, no carbs in clarified butter, there's really not many carbs, if anything, in milk protein isolate, so that means we're up a little bit higher on the sugar. It'd be interesting to do a glucose test with these. But I'm not surprised because how much do you have to flavor egg whites to make a flavor? That's true. Right, I mean, there's a lot having to go on to make an egg cracker right. basically happen. Right. So I'm not surprised. So number three, how do they taste? I wanna say they're awesome, <laughs> but if I'm being honest, they're a little bit chalky. I like that they're no longer thin, thin, thin like they used to be. I like that they're more of a cracker form. So like mouthfeel wise, they have a nice mouthfeel to them now, but they're still a little chalky. Yeah, to me, they taste okay, not awesome, but not like horrible and not great, you know? They're like, they're average yeah. at best, that, that's my opinion. Number four, how much do they cost? Okay. So I looked it up, you can get it on their website or you can get it on Amazon. So if you go to their website, you can get 15 bags, or 15, six bags for $15. It'd be nice if it was the other way around. On Amazon, there's a couple of different ways. The most inexpensive way is to get 12 bags for $30, or they also have another one where it's like $15, but you only get five bags. So I don't like that. Better off going to the website or buy the 12 bag option. Little expensive, like that's like a little bit under $3 a bag, but again, right in line with a lot of the other keto snacks. Yeah, because this is one whole, I can eat this entire thing at once. Yep. Number five, would we recommend it? I'm gonna start on this one. Okay. I personally don't think I would recommend it. And that's because I'm taking everything into account when I say that. So, you know, when I look at it's, eight total carbs per package, four net carbs. I look at the cost, I look at the ingredients. When I combine all of that, I, I just don't think I would buy them. Now, if they showed up in a keto crate, I would probably eat them, or I will eat them, I, I have eaten them, but I don't think I'm gonna spend $3 a bag when I have to look at all of that stuff. So I don't think I would necessarily recommend it. Now, I would say this, if they changed the seasoning, and it no longer contained sugar, maltodextrin, and that kind of stuff, Yeah, I would 
probably be recommending it more because I like the egg white option. Yes. It's just that it's the seasonings that's kind of taking me back a little bit. I'm right there with you. The price point's a little high for me personally to buy, but I mean, I'm cheap. So it's gotta be really super mega ultra delicious. I love the ingenuity. I right. love that we have taken egg whites and we have done something with them. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of people that I love that have celiac. So the fact that there's another gluten-free, grain-free option for them, whether you're keto or not, I love seeing more things on the market, but am I going to be grabbing for these every day? All right. No, they, they taste sort of less great than a Quest chip. Right. Right. So like I would probably even reach for a Quest chip before I, and, I reach and for And that's kind of my thing is I feel like they're on the higher end when we compare them to other snacks. And I don't want to, I don't want to promote a bunch of other companies in no. this review, but when you look at like a Quest chip, or the schoolyard snacks, or a lot of the other snack kind of chip kind of options. Yeah. This is the higher end. Of price wise. Price wise. And yet the ingredients are a little bit more suspect and the flavor isn't on par. So to me, if, if they were half the price, yeah, I'd be able to deal with the ingredients a little bit more. But at a higher end, I expect higher Better quality ingredients. ingredients. Yeah. Well, that is gonna be our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you've ever had the huevos. Huevos. And which ones did you like if you had them or did you like them at all? Yeah. Now, if you like seeing review videos like this, check out our entire playlist of other product reviews, which you can find right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right down there. And do us a favor and hit subscribe right here so that every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.